Hey guys, this is Death by Big Numbers, and today I'm going to show you guys another awesome solution for FLL City Shaper. So today, we're go um, I'm going to be sh showing you guys a solution for the uh, Safety Factor mission. But before we do, don't forget to go, in, uh, go right down and hit that subscribe button. So, as you guys can probably see, um, and probably know from previous videos, my team doesn't have our City Shaper mat yet. Uh, so this run is going to be more about the attachment behind it, um, less about the programming. I haven't even programmed the robot to actually do the mission. Uh, the actual safety factor mission is down on the board. So I'm just going to show you guys the main part, which is the attachment. So that was really quick. Uh, let's try that again. So, uh, the few points of interest about this are, first of all, um, the robot has knocked down three of the beams more than halfway, which means that just pushing this in place gives you 30 points. Uh, so, a few notes of interest. So, when I was originally designing this, uh, the robot would slightly pull this away a little bit as it started driving backwards. And so what would happen is this piece, it would get pull, pull, pulled out that far, and this piece here would get knocked down because this wouldn't retract completely. And as you can see, this beam here is actually what's causing that to go back to its original state when we're pulling back. So I added this gray piece here, and now slam it back, and this stays upright. So how does the thing work, actually work? Well, um, it starts off by funneling, or as um, my team likes to say, snow plowing uh, the attachment into the mission. So it uses these two pieces here. So if we hit it on a bit of an angle, as we did in the first take, it goes like that and slips into place, right? So then it keeps on going until it reaches these pieces. And what happens when it does that is they get, start getting pushed out into these cavities. So just by driving in, that's two down. So then we get to the interesting mechanism part of this. And that is when the robot drives up, this piece here gets pushed against the mission model, which presses in this arm here to fold down this guy. Now, the question becomes, why these three specifically? Why not, for example, these three? Well, the answer is you can't balance the house on those three. Theoretically, it should be possible to do it just on these two, but my team found that um, we couldn't consistently balance it by hand, never mind with a robot. This was Death by Big Numbers, and I'd love to see any suggestions you guys have for missions that you'd like me to solve in the comment section below. <laughs>